My average school day would start off with me getting off the bus and walking into the high school. I'd walk down the hallways, be greeted by the teachers, you know, and just go with the same crowd. I'd go with, you know, my same, like, five friends. I'd go hang out with them, talk, you know, how the day was, what's been going on the weekend, stuff like that. I don't know, talk about video games or whatever they were interested in. But I'd go with these same guys talking. I'd talk to them. And I never I never went out and talked to anybody else. I talked to the same people, same crowd, and the days flew by day after day. And I never saw any change in myself. And I would always plateau, it would feel like. I'd never get better. Because it's for this one simple rule. This one thing that I've always been avoiding, confronting the law you are the average of the top five people you spend the most time with if i'm trying to become somebody else and i'm hanging out with the same people i can't really change myself if i don't change who i'm hanging with and that's the point i'm making in today's video like i said i would talk to the same guys and i never really tried to be cool with everybody never really talk to any other people except for maybe in the classroom hang with some different guys hang with a different crowd and school kind of forces you to meet new people at a rapid pace to meet new friends which i really think is the beneficial parts of school i know school can kind of be a waste of time sometimes especially when you're in a classroom getting done with, you're done with your work and you just stare at your phone all day that can be a waste of time but i really think the social aspect and getting to meet a high frequency of people all at the same place is really good really good for your mental health but i was i was not realizing that i was becoming like these people and if i wanted to change i would have to change who i was spending my time with you become like your friends for better or for worse you are going to end up like the top five people that you associate with most if i was trying to become a more disciplined person why wouldn't I just go hang with more disciplined people, right? If I wanted to be better at relationships, why don't I just hang out with the guys who've had it figured out? That's why I've been asking myself for a long time, and this video, I get to the bottom of it. But that's really how simple it is. If you're going to become the people that you spend out, if, you ha if you're going to become whoever the crowd you're hanging with, then you might as well have a really good crowd. You might as well have some really good loyal friends with all the values that you value. That's what a good friendship is. Sharing values. That's basically what conversation is. You examine people, you ask them questions, and to see if you share the same values, and you connect over that. That's what a true friendship is. And you can should not be hanging with people if you don't share the same values. You value honesty and they lie all the time. Not going to be a good friendship, right? But that's really how simple it is. If you want any skill in life, you want to be, you want this money, you want status, you want women, you want to be good at riding bikes. Whatever the skill is that you want, the best way by far to get it is to hang around with the guys who got it figured out. You hang out with a guy who. It's really into BMX bikes. Sure, you might not, you've never touched a bike before, but you hang out with those people and you're gonna absorb everything. You're gonna know stuff. You're gonna know shit. You're gonna be like, someone's gonna be talking to you and you, about BMX bikes or whatever, and you're just gonna be knowing, like, oh, um, you, you don't wanna hit a jump like that way. You, you actually wanna, like, kind of pull up or sort of. <laughs> you're just gonna know shit, like, about biking, even if you, that's not something you do. Just being around that crowd is going to change who you are. You might start buying a bike. You might start going to bike jumps more. That's what I'm getting at. Whoever you want to become, hang with that crowd. And there's moving on to my next point that I want to make. I, as, as a, I don't, I don't think I'm introverted, but I definitely have had a case of social anxiety and like overthinking about that social anxiety to a point of not talking to people, not socializing as much as I should. 
and I can feel for the people out there who are afraid of meeting new people. I'd go inside, I'd be hanging with the same guys, and you know, there's some points where I thought, you know what, I've I know everything about these guys. I want to meet some new people, and I'm like, that's kind of scary. I, what am I gonna say to them? I don't like meeting new people, and I think that's the big thing holding everybody back from me from changing their friends, hanging with a different crowd that's going to push them upwards, hanging with stronger men. And yeah, it's scary meeting new people, obviously. People, a lot of people struggle with small talk, <laughs> me included. And small talk, by the way, is supposed to be awkward. You're not supposed to meet a new person for the first time and it not being awkward. It's rare that you see anybody just meet somebody new for the first time and totally hit it off. You're going to have bumps in the road. You're going to be like, there's going to be awkward pauses. And that's okay for small talk. <laughs> this is how most, this sounds like 99% of small talk goes you meet the new person whatever you're like hey how you doing he's like good so what have you been up to this weekend hammering on these small talk questions and eventually you're gonna hit something off like um this weekend you know so i did some like boxing you're like oh cool you do boxing what gym do you go to you know you're gonna hit it off somewhere so just it's okay do the small talk stuff it's weird it's awkward everybody knows when you ask somebody how they are, they're going to say good or great. Nobody ever says when, nobody ever says you ask them how they're doing and they say bad. You don't want to cloud them with your bad day and make them feel bad. We all know how the small talk questions go. You ask someone how they are doing, what they've been up to this weekend, anything's planned. It's weird. It's awkward. It's supposed to be. Because that's like the cost of entry to meeting a new person. So don't be afraid of it. And just don't let that hold you back from meeting, meeting a new person. Because like, you could totally hit it off and have like a best friend for the rest of your life. And I definitely want something like that for you guys. Now we go into this empathy section of my script. <laughs> uh, fuck. So... <laughs> It's not entirely your fault for, like, not wanting to meet new people. There's something really, really uh, intriguing in psychology. There's this law called Manson's Law. And what it basically states is that something that counteracts, that goes against your current identity, the more something uh, counters your identity, the more you will avoid it. The more something goes against your identity, the more you will avoid it. If you're something who identifies as, you identify as a farmer or someone you associate with the farming group, you're really into agriculture or something, and any circumstance that's going to threaten to change that, who you are, you're going to avoid it. You're going to avoid meeting new people because that threatens your identity, I guess. So yeah, we naturally have it in us that we're afraid of meeting new people. We're afraid of uh, changing ourselves changing our identities you can't you got to be a, embrace failure be you got to accept that you have to value and adopt the ha, adopt the value of having constant self doubt constantly doubting yourself you don't always say that you're right about something you say i got it figured out no try like see stuff from different points of view talk to new people adopts uncertainty and that you might not always be right about something and that's fine you know people a hundred years from now we're, we're wrong about a bunch of things right now in our world like how back in the day people thought bloodletting and fucking rubbing pee on your face was good at some point and we're we look down on these people but we still probably have things that are wrong in our culture and a hundred years from now, people are going to be looking down on us about how wrong we were. And they're going to be just slightly less wrong. So we're always wrong about something. And it's okay just to accept that. To go out, change your identity. Don't be... Don't stay in the same group. Go out, live your life, and experience what other people have to offer you. Learn meet new people 
because it will pay you off so much in the long run. If you can be social, you can, it'll make you so articulate. If you can get into other people's heads, learn about them, and see stuff from their point of view, and be interested. That's what I've been struggling with, and what I've been trying to incorporate in my life, to an extent. With this video, I hope that you will see the world from a different point of view, and not as a scary place where it's hard to meet new people, but a place where you can change who your friends are, who you can meet new people, and not be afraid of never having friends. You can talk to new people, make that small talk, and adopt friends that have values, that are maybe good with money, have skills that you want. Be in the room with adopts get smarter friends i hope that you've enjoyed watching my video this is it and i'll catch you in the next video